Hello everyone, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'd like to talk to you today about this upcoming City of Fort Worth street reconstruction project. My name is Greg Robbins and I am a project manager with the Transportation and Public Works Department's Capital Delivery Team and I'll be the construction project manager for the upcoming Great Southwest Parkway street reconstruction project. This presentation was originally meant to be given at an in-person community meeting with all affected residents and other citizens who utilize this street. However, due to the city's proactive response to the current COVID-19 outbreak, that meeting has been canceled and this presentation has been recorded in lieu of the actual meeting. This presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the scope of this project that is happening in your area and give you a little bit of a heads up about what to expect with the upcoming construction. Here's the agenda of what I hope to cover in my brief presentation. I'll be talking about the project as a whole, reviewing the scope of work, and providing you with information on the phasing and schedule of the construction. This project consists of two parts that will be completed as part of the same construction project. Both portions are a part of a group of projects that are being funded by the 2018 bond, which was voted on by the residents of Fort Worth in May of 2018. The limits of the first portion of this project include Great Southwest Parkway from Mark 4 Parkway to the I-35 southbound access road. For this street, we will be performing a full depth reconstruction, which means that the street is to be fully demoed, the underground utilities upgraded, and then repaved with new concrete streets. For Great Southwest Parkway, you can see that we will be performing a full replacement of not only the pavement and underlying subgrade, but most of the underground utilities as well. The contractor will be replacing the existing water and sewer pipes before placing the new concrete pavement. The water and sewer service connections to businesses will also be replaced. In addition, we will also be constructing new sidewalks and ADA wheelchair ramps on the south side of the road. The city's master thoroughfare plan was adopted in 2016 with vision to provide a complete and connected context-sensitive transportation system for all users that supports mobility, healthy living, and economic benefit. In keeping with the city's vision, this project will provide for two full-width travel lanes as well as a marked bicycle lane in each direction. A sidewalk will also be provided on the south side of the road. Great Southwest Parkway was chosen for reconstruction due to the current condition of its pavement and the need to replace the underground utilities. In this slide, you can see a picture of the current state of Great Southwest Parkway on the left, showing the asphalt overlay and the street in poor condition. On the right is an example of a new concrete divided street and driveways. The final product for Great Southwest Parkway won't look exactly like this, but you can expect something similar with the final product. The limits of the second portion of this project include the replacement and rehabilitation associated with a 24-inch sewer main along Little Fossil Creek. This sewer was previously inspected for defects and it was determined that several locations were good candidates for inclusion in the project scope. The contractor will be replacing and rehabilitating sections of Little Fossil Creek sewer pipe that is currently in disrepair. Portions of the pipe will be replaced via open cut and others by cured in place pipe or CIPP. The process of CIPP involves inserting and running a felt lining into a pre-existing pipe that is the subject of the repair. Resin within the liner is then exposed to a curing element to make it attached to the inner walls of the pipe. Once fully cured, the lining now acts as a new pipeline. In this slide, you can see the proposed improvements to the water distribution system under Great Southwest Parkway. The new 12-inch pipe will run the entire length of the project, including being mounted to the bridge where the pipe crosses Little Fossil Creek. New 8-inch sewer pipe will be installed in Great Southwest Parkway from Little Fossil Creek eastward to Northeast Parkway where it will connect with the existing sanitary sewer. A new 10-inch sanitary sewer was recently installed to the west of Little Fossil Creek as part of the Mark IV Commerce Park improvements. This new pipe and associated manholes will be protected during construction. This slide also shows some of the improvements to the Little Fossil Creek 24-inch sewer pipe where it crosses Great Southwest Parkway. 
The existing road will be fully excavated to remove the asphalt pavement, concrete curbs and gutters, and existing subgrade to a depth of almost 18 inches below the current road surface. The road will then be rebuilt with 9.5 inches of reinforced concrete pavement and curbs on top of stabilized subgrade. As you have probably noticed, the Mark IV Commerce Park to the west of this project is currently under development. As part of that project, new storm drain facilities were needed to be built under Great Southwest Parkway prior to this project's start. A large 12 by 8 reinforced concrete box culvert was installed underneath the current street, ending at the bridge crossing Little Fossil Creek. This new stormwater infrastructure will not interfere with our current plans for construction. The contractor for the Mark IV Commerce Park has repaired the street with temporary asphalt pavement, which is meant to last until our contractor rebuilds the street with permanent concrete pavement. This slide shows our expected phasing and schedule for the construction. At this time, it is the contractor's plan to fully close one set of travel lanes and complete all associated work before moving on to the other side. The work is scheduled to begin in early May of 2020, and the contractor will begin by closing the eastbound lanes first. Two-way travel will begin on the current westbound lanes. During this time, businesses along Great Southwest Parkway will retain access to their driveways through the use of temporary services crossing the construction zone. The only time when driveway access will be limited is when the actual driveway is being reconstructed. You will be notified in advance by the contractor when to expect these disruptions. While the eastbound lanes are closed, the existing asphalt pavement and subgrade will be demoed. The contractor will then begin by installing the new water line and water services before beginning the construction on the new concrete street. When all construction in the eastbound lanes are complete, the contractor will then close the westbound lanes and begin the process of demoing the existing street before installing the new sewer and rebuilding the pavement. The construction is planned for 450 calendar days, at which point the project should be completed and reopened for full use. A traffic control firm has provided the contractor with a specialized traffic control plan for use during the upcoming construction. This plan will provide for the safe and efficient routing of traffic in order to limit the impact of those who use Great Southwest Parkway regularly. The contractor will provide adequate signage to indicate when lanes will be closed and where detours and alternative routes will be required. I would like to finish this presentation by presenting some frequently asked questions regarding this construction project and providing answers. Will I still have access to my driveway during construction? For the most part, yes. Access to your driveway will only be restricted when your driveway is being reconstructed. Temporary driving surfaces will be provided so that access to your property can be maintained even when the lanes fronting your property are completely closed to traffic. You will be given notice by the contractor in the city when these construction activities can be expected. Will I lose water to my property? While the water pipe is being replaced along Great Southwest Parkway, you will be placed on a temporary water service. There will be a short disruption in service while the water line is switched over to the temporary service and again when you are placed back on the normal water supply. Once again, you will be notified prior to the switch so that you can plan for it. How will my water bill be calculated while on temporary service? You will pay the average monthly amount based on the previous year. Will Great Southwest Parkway be closed during construction? No, the road will never be completely closed to through traffic during this project. The contractor plans to close the eastbound lanes first, followed by the westbound lanes. However, it is in the contractor's intention to allow two-way traffic during the entirety of the construction process. How long will the project take? The total contract time is 450 calendar days. How wide will my driveway be? We will be matching existing driveway widths unless they are currently less than 18 feet wide. This concludes my presentation. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen and watch. It is unfortunate that I was not able to meet all of you in person due to public health concerns and discuss any comments or questions that you may have, but I would still like to hear from you. My phone number and email address are provided here. Please feel free to contact me if you so choose. Finally, the contact information for the city's construction inspector is listed. She will be your first point of contact for all questions and concerns you may have during construction. Thank you once again. I appreciate your patience with us as we move through the construction process, and I look forward to hearing from you.